Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. Today is day number 216 after having gastric bypass surgery. So here's something interesting. I realized today that I haven't been swimming in quite a long time. Probably since, probably 2020. Um, it's been a while and I really enjoy the pool. I really do because, you know, your body becomes weightless pretty much and all the weight comes off your legs and your back and everything and it feels really good it's nice and cool you know um if you go early in the morning there's no kids in there splashing around making a bunch of noise being annoying that kind of thing i'm not trying to hate or anything just when i like i like to go to the pool i like to go really early in the morning where it's you know quiet and stuff but that's just me personally well anyways um I noticed that as the heavier I got, the less and less I wanted to go to the pool. Like, my body wanted to go, but my mind said no. But my body, my body's telling me yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, I heard that song earlier today, and it just kind of popped in my head. Okay, moving on. So, um, I realized that the heavier I got, the less I wanted to be in the pool. And the reason why, to be obvious, um, you know, you're sticking out more and you know it's harder to find swimsuits and things like that i don't know about where you guys live but here if you want to find a swimming suit that fits a heavy person and i'm talking heavy heavy person you're just going to be stuck with like shorts and a t-shirt because they just don't make them and if you do find them they're going to be like stupid expensive and no it's not worth it for me um I've never been one to want to like uh, wear short kind of clothes anyways and have a bunch of skin showing and things. It's not because I've been overweight all my life. It's just this is not my style. Even if I had a rocking body, I'm just not the kind that would wear like short shorts and a half shirt or, you know, having my chest hang out everywhere and things like that. It's just not me. It's not my style. If it's your style, that's cool, but it ain't for me. But um, I haven't been in such a long time, and it, mostly because, one, I just don't have time anymore. Um, two, gyms are ridiculous expensive. And three, because, well, the heavier you get, the less you want to be in a bathing suit. And um, that's just what happened to me. Even though it was such a reward to getting in the water and exercising and relaxing and getting the weight off, you know, the fact that you're in a swimming suit or something... And you stand out more than other people who are like skinny and more attractive and you just feel very self-conscious and you know when you're younger and you're a kid and you got kids making fun of you calling you you know whale or whatever you want to call it you know that's happened to me a few times it's really embarrassing and it's even more embarrassing when you just cannot find a swimming suit that fits and looks okay and then you have to just wear shorts and a tank top or a t-shirt and then everybody around you they know it's because you can't find anything to wear that's a regular bathing suit and it's even more embarrassing there i said it um why am i bringing this up because i'm going on vacation on the 30th of this month june 2023 and there's going to be a pool there. And at first I was kind of like, Ugh. but then I thought, wait a minute, I don't weigh as much as I did. I'm like 95 pounds lighter than I was. So obviously I'm not going to be able to like rock a one piece flaming red, awesome swimming suit or anything, but I found a swimming suit that's going to look okay on me. And it's not going to make me look like some big old, you know, whale tail or anything. But, uh, like I said, even if I had a smoking body or something like that, and like the hair and the nails and the lips and everything, I still wouldn't wear, like, revealing swimwear. It's just not my style. Not really my thing. Um, I've always been the tomboy type anyways. So, even just the bikini, I, like, an idea of a bikini to me is just, uh, even if I had the smoking body, I'd still want to go in shorts because it's just more comfortable that way. I feel more relaxed, you know. It's just me. That's just the way I am. But I was thinking to myself, yeah, I'm going to be going on vacation and I'll be able to be more relaxed. And, you know, here it's like a motel and there's not going to be a bunch of people there. It'll probably just be my husband and I there swimming. So it'll be even better. You know, I, I started to look in the mirror when I put the swimming suit on and I'm like, hey, I don't really look that bad. You're looking good. You really are dropping all that weight. You go, girlfriend. You know, that kind of thing. And it made me feel good. You know, but don't get me wrong, there's a lot of hard work that comes with it with the surgery. But, you know, another reward you get is that you're starting to look better in swim swimsuits and swimwear and things like that. And you don't feel so self-conscious. You know, it's like too bad you can't wear a bunch of makeup in the pool because it'll just pour down and everything. I have done that before. Really embarrassing. 
first time I ever wore makeup to a pool and it will be the last time I ever wear makeup to a pool. <laughs> Funny story, you hear ready for this? I was on a date one time, I was like 20 and the guy was like, I don't know, 25, 26, something like that. He was an army guy and um, he was really nice and all, but we, it wouldn't last. But um, anyways, we went, to, we went to a pool and I was trying to be pretty and all that stuff. I'd never been on like a pool date before, if you want to call it that. And I wore a full face to make a contour, the eyebrows, the eyelashes, the cat eyes, the lipstick, everything. <sighs> By the time we left, I look in the mirror, it was all smeared. It was everywhere. It looked like I was crying an episode and somebody knocked my lights out. And that's what broke us up. <laughs> I, mess, I I saw him out in the uh, lobby and I was like, I was mad. I was so mad. I was like, why didn't you tell me my face looked like this? You let me be out there the whole time. We were out there for a few hours. You let me be like this for Lord knows how long. How long was I like this? Like, I'm surprised people didn't start laughing at me. They probably felt sorry for me because of how much, I mean, it was everywhere. I'm surprised I didn't, like, see it in the water or anything. Just floating around me, like, eyelash or makeup or something. I was furious. I was so mad. That was so embarrassing. But anyways, <laughs> just a funny story. We're here to share, right? Yeah. Uh, didn't last. That made me mad. We never went on another date again because I told him if you're going to be like that and not tell me that my face is jacked up like that, then uh, who knows what you won't tell me. So, no, that was embarrassing. You don't do something like that. But anyways, um, my, just the point of the whole video today is I'm going to be able to go swimming and feel relaxed. And it's just one of the other benefits I'm getting out of the surgery. Guys, get the surgery. If this is what it's going to take to get your life back and be healthy and be safe and be productive and have less pain and have more happiness, go get it. I can't stand when people are going on the internet saying, well, um, you know, pages about the surgery. Well, I want to have surgery, but like my mom doesn't want me to get it or my wife doesn't want me to get it. Kick them to the curb. You don't need that. Okay, you're trying to find happiness. You're trying to achieve something. And if someone's trying to keep you from that, kick them to the curb. You don't need that, okay? Being fat and unhappy is enough unhappiness for you. Don't let more unhappiness, okay? Don't. Tell them I said so. Tell them, come find me. Come find me and I'll straighten them out for you, okay? But until then, I'll see you guys later and have a good rest of the day. I'm about to get online here in about a good half hour. So I'll see you guys there. And if not, well, you're just a punk. Bye.